So a lot of you in the comments have been asking me for advice in order to upgrade your team overall. A lot of you guys have asked me how I've gotten my max team and how you can too. So in this video, I will be offering you some tips that I used and my method of doing it. So here we go. So whether or not you are a beginner at this game and you just started playing and you want to know how to increase your team overall or if you're stuck somewhere and you just want to progress faster or just have a better way of progressing, I have answers for you. So without further ado, let's get started. Also subscribe to the channel because that's really cool. So let's start out on the way to spend gems. So gems is the currency you get from completing objectives and getting promoted from divisions in online or in career mode and let's see how you can spend it in the most effective way possible in order to increase your team overall basically you have two options you either can buy legendary agents to increase your team overall or you can upgrade your commercial facility in order to get more coins in order to upgrade your team overall with the coins so legendary agents cost 300 gems and you get about on average a 1500 coin legendary player which is about a 5 coin to gem ratio. So let's use that as our baseline. If you upgrade your commercial facility for 225 gems, you get a 13% bonus match winning. So if you score an average of 5 goals per game, you can get a plus 3 coins per home game and plus 2 coins per away game. And there's like 15 games in a season, so you get, you get an extra 38 coins in a season. But that doesn't include the other 15 games that are in Global Challenge Cup and the Bronze Cup, if you're saying in the Academy Division, which gives you more. By the way, I'm using Academy Division numbers here. Combined, the commercial bonus will give you an extra 60 coins, which is 98 coins per season. That is basically nothing compared to the value you get in a Legendary Agent. However, there are some advantages of doing this. A Legendary Agent is a one-time increase in your team overall, and it, it, just, it just goes away. And if you spend your gems on the commercial facility, you get more coins in the long run forever, basically. Also, it takes a while to get those 300 gems in order to afford the legendary agent. In order to afford the commercial facility, you only need 75 gems for the first tier, which you start out with. So you can have that boost in coins that will help you with your team overall ever since the start. Also, upgrading the commercial facility will give you coins and not players, so coins can be used in order to get like your stadium upgraded in order to get to the next division, which will give you more coins per match when you're in the higher divisions. So what is the call? Honestly, there's pros and cons in both in which way to spend your gems. Ultimately, it's basically what situation you are in. Legendary agents, I believe, are the best value for your team overall at the beginning. Legendary Agents give you the best value at 5 coins per gem. Because coins are basically everything, and if you can convert your gems to coins in the best ratio, that will help increase your progress the most. You get 5 coins for every gem you spend on average on a Legendary Agent, which is the best way possible. Unless. If somehow... Upgrading your commercial facilities will give you a better ratio than 5 to 1 from coins to gems, then commercial is, is, more, is more worth it. So I did some rough estimating with uh, how much commercial bonus you get per division as you go up because you're going to get more coins as you go up because your home stadium bonus is higher and you get more coins per win and per goal. And I calculated that you roughly get 8 coins per one gem by the time you reach the end of legendary division so if you play through the whole game you get eight coins per gem all right give or take one or two because you know i, I estimate it which gives you more than five so for the long run commercial facilities is more worth it than legendary agents and I didn't even take into account the doubling of the commercial bonus you can do at the end of the game with the video ad. So it's an absolute no-brainer to upgrade your commercial facility if you're going for the long run. So if you need that spike to get you to 70 overall, so legendary players will start showing up, 
buy a legendary agent, right? If you're struggling with that spike to get to 70 overall. But if you're already there and you want to go through this game for the long run, then I suggest you upgrade your commercial facility. So now that we're talking about how to spend gems, how about we talk about how to get gems in the first place? So here's just a little quick tips uh, in order to get gems. Obviously, do your objectives, okay? Go through the easy tiers of online. So like the first three tiers, get to like tier 17. If you're good enough, hopefully you can get some nice gems there. Also, here's a tip to get on number one of the leaderboard. Either play events on the Saturday and grind the Sunday or just grind Sunday online. How the leaderboard works is that it creates a leaderboard with players that played their two games, their first two games, at the same time as you. So if you play your first two games on Sunday and you just grind sun all day Sunday and get uh, as many wins as possible, as much XP as possible, you can be on number one because you'll and you only have to grind one day. You can also start the event on Saturday because that's the last day you can do the event. So you can do Saturday because you get double XP on the event, then grind through Sunday, and that'll work too. If you can execute that and grind online every Sunday, making sure you're number one every week, you can get 100 gems per week. That's a lot of commercial facility upgrades. So now let's get over into the techniques in order to increase your team overall. There's basically two things that hold you back in the game. Is that there's not enough higher level rated players, right, in the game that will make you upgrade your team overall. Or you don't have enough coins in order to get them. And you know, there's also both, right? You could be in both situations. So for the rest of the video, I am going to be showing you how to fix these problems, essentially. Even if your problem is only one of the two things that I mentioned, these things kind of go together, so I suggest you watch the rest of this video. Because you might be with one problem now, but then you'll, you'll switch to the other problem after. <laughs> so first, you want to look for, in your transfers, higher overall players than your current team overall. So you can check your team overall in the little person icon in the top right corner of career mode menu there. And you, if you see a player in your transfers that's higher than that number, go ahead and buy them. Because when you buy them, you slowly increase your team overall. And honestly, if you don't feel like it's worth it that you're buying more commons, trust me, it is. Say your team overall is 61 and you see a 63 rated player and that's the highest in your transfers, just buy them. Because if you buy them, you get the little increase because he's 63. And then now you can uh, release a lower rated player, which will turn into a coach, which then you can use, which will also increase your team. And then you're going to keep playing through career mode and keep cycling through the transfers until you see those higher, little bit higher rated players and keep buying them. Also, if you look for defenders, those are better because they upgrade your team overall the same and they're going to be cheaper than forwards for the same rating. So look for defenders. But if, you're, if they're midfielders, it's fine too. Because you're not going to play with a whole team of defenders. Now you might run out of coins, and I'll be going over how to get more coins later in this video. But just keep doing that until you get about a 69 or 70 rated team. This is when commons will no longer increase your team overall, because the highest common, I believe, is 69 overall. So stop buying commons, right? And this is also when legendary players will also, from time to time, start showing up in your transfers so when they're there buy them that's your best value honestly legendary defenders are definitely your best value and it doesn't necessarily mean to keep waiting for legendary players to show up even if they only show up like every three four games right you can still buy rare players to upgrade your team as long as it's over your current team overall and then you keep going on this cycle keep buying players that are just a little bit over your team overall until you can finally get those higher red end players like Salah, Messi, Griezmann, uh, Neymar, Ronaldo, all those actually show up in your transfers without a scout or an agent. Now I know a lot of you guys don't have a 61 rated team like I described, so I made a table here. You guys can pause the video. You can you can see what you what you, well what stage you're at essentially. So you just look for your team overall, and then you, I have a little advice to the right, and that's basically what you have to do. Okay, so here we go. How do we get coins in order to do what I just said there? Here's some tips in order to maximize the amount of coins you can get. And I know this is a really slow process, okay? You need a lot of coins in order to keep buying players and releasing them, 
right? And on top of that, you have to upgrade your stadium with your coins. I know it's slow, but if you can maximize the amount of coins you can get every day and you can slowly go through this process, I'm pretty sure by the end of the Legendary Division, you'll have like at least an 85 overall team. And then from there, you can keep playing through it maybe a couple more times, and then you can get a full max team. So like I said at the beginning, if you spend your gems on the commercial facility by the Legendary Division, you will have an 8 coin per gem ratio, which is super good, and you'll get more coins by upgrading your, your commercial facility with your gems. So that's a big tip to get coins. And another thing, I've been telling people to watch the ads in the bottom left corner, but you shouldn't. And I'll tell you why. So I got the majority of my coins from watching those video ads in the bottom left corner. However, in the newest update, they capped the amount of ads you can get per day as 10. So you can only watch 10 ads per day. It, they used to not cap it or they used to like cap it like super high. Like I could watch so many and I would get like 1,000, 1,500 coins in a sitting. But now you can, oh, you're only limited to 300. So I'm sure you guys have noticed, but at the end of the game, you can double your coin rewards with an ad. So you only get 10 ads per day. So if you watch 10 ads in the bottom left corner, right, get your 300 coins and you go play a game and you get, say, a 40 coin reward, you can't double that 40 coin reward because you already capped out on your ads. So in order to get maximum value, you have to play at least 10 games, maybe more if you don't necessarily get 30 coins per game but it's a grind okay and maybe if you don't have enough time to play that that day or if you can't play 10 games then watch them in the bottom left corner but if you want to get the max value out of this you got to play 10 games and in those 10 games you got to get more than 30 coins at the end of your game so score lots of goals all right and double that reward say you get 35 coins in each of your 10 games that you get then you double all those Instead of getting 300 coins from those ads, you get 350 coins from those ads. 350 versus 300 doesn't seem like a lot, but when you get into higher divisions and you start getting like 50 coins per game, then you're getting 500 coins versus 300 coins. Like, that's, that's, that's a lot of coins. But by far the best way to get coins, and I know not a lot of you guys are not going to like this, but it is the events. I know a lot of you guys don't like playing online because of how people play or your internet connection is not that good or your phone can't run it that well and other people have advantage but this is just the best way to get coins and that's just a fact you can win like 1500 coins a week just from events and that's crazy also when you win those rewards you can watch an ad for 100 coins as well so you're getting so much value on that ad as well as so much value out of playing that event if you can, if you're good at dream league soccer and you can beat people online events is such a good way to get coins i know some of you guys aren't in that position all right i mean you can try out events but if you really quit events and you can't do it just stick to my other two tips that i did before this but if you can play events and you can win that will boost your progress so much more first touch games has lowered the cost like every single event they've had. So these events as of lately have been pretty cheap and the rewards have been really good. So honestly, I think right now they're, they're making it so good for events. And on top of that, if you get bronze, silver, or gold, you still get some rewards, even for bronze. You get common coaches and I'm pretty sure you get rare coaches. And you, you either get a legendary agent even, a legendary scout, or even legendary coach if you get gold medal. So... Like, it's, it's, it's just so, so much value out of events. And not to mention, as well, in events, you get double XP or triple XP, which will go towards your online leaderboard, which will get you more gems, which will get you more commercial facility boost, which will get you more coins. By far, events, best way to get coins. However, it's not the easiest way to get coins, right? So if you, if you don't want to play events, you, I, I have my other two tips before this. If you follow these tips, I've calculated that you can get about 6,400 coins per week if you win the event. And even if you don't win the event, you still get like 5,000 coins. So that's, that's, that's pretty good. Okay, to wrap up this video, let's go on some quick coaching tips because I know a lot of you guys are already have like your team picked out. You got like 83 plus overall players in your team and you want to know how to coach better. 
So here, here you go. So first of all, which coaches to use, rare, common, or legendary? So if you have some rare players or common players in your team and you release them and you use the coaches or you win the events and get some rare coaches or common coaches, go ahead and use them. However, legendary coaches, I'm pretty sure, give you the most value since they increase three players and increase all their stats. So if you buy legendary coaches with gems, it costs 225 gems with that with no training facility. We're assuming no training facility discount here. But if you guys have been watching the channel, you know that I bought all my legendary coaches with coins by buying a 80 overall defender, then releasing them, and then using the coach that he gives me. I just had more coins than gems, and that's why I did it. But what if you want to spend your gems? Is it worth it? So if a legendary coach costs 225 gems, and you can also get that same legendary coach for 1,365 coins, which is the price of an 80 overall defender, that means it costs 6 coins per gem in order to get that legendary coach. Six coins per gems is better than the legendary agent. It's, it's better value since legendary agents are five coins per gem. But your commercial facility, if you get through to legendary division, right, it's eight coins per gem. So it's better to spend your gems on the commercial facility and buy your legendary coaches with coins. However, if you've already maxed out your commercial facility, and you have nothing else to, that you want to spend your gems on, it's not that bad because it's it's six coins per gem. That's pretty good. That's better than legendary agents anyway. So there you go. As for which coach to pick, it really doesn't matter uh, because all coaches are random and they'll just use the coach that they'll feel like on your players. So whether or not it's a fitness or a legendary coach, it doesn't really matter, but I would try to just balance it out so you don't have a full technical team. Even if that's possible, I don't even know. Again, you can't choose who to train with your coaches, so j there's no real advice there. Until you get to the last three where everyone's max and the last three are left, then you can start pinpointing stats if you like. Either way, their max potential will be at least plus 10, so th that's still upgrading your team overall by 10. Like, that's crazy. So that's all I have for this video. Sorry this video is on the longer side. I just had a lot of information I wanted to put in this video. I hope that you found this helpful at least and I didn't waste too much of your time. Here's the table again to see where you are and find what you can do. I feel like this is the most useful if you don't already know how to do this. This is the method I used to upgrade my team and it worked out fairly well. So I think you could, you should try it out if you are stuck. This is not the proven fastest way possible to do it because I've only experimented on my one account. So if you think there's a, there's a faster way, honestly have fun with it. And yes, I did spend about $25 on this game to get a head start, but all it did was speed up my progress. So even if you guys are free to play, it'll just take longer. You can still have the exact same team that I have. Just remember that events are your friend, all right? And that you should double your re coin rewards if they're over 30 coins. Also, upgrade your commercial facility with your gems if you're going to play through the whole entire game. And uh, yeah, keep buying players that are higher than your team overall. That's basically it in summary. So take a look at the table, see where you are. Hopefully this video helped. Subscribe to the channel because this took a lot of effort with all the calculations and stuff. So yeah. Anyways, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another Dream League Soccer video.